Hello there, petrol heads. I'm Colonel Thalia, and you're back here at Scowling Frank Fiasco's Heavy Metal Motors uh, for some Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, which is a lot of words, uh, but ultimately we are here to uh, to fix up some cars. I've got a couple of project cars on the go at the moment. Uh, I've got this uh, 440 Roadrunner. Uh, that's. I mean, I've done all of the running gear on that. I've uh, I've resprayed the uh, the the chassis. Uh, the, uh, the frame, I suppose, um, and uh, and it's just waiting for the engine to be rebuilt, which is currently sat out there. I, I can't bring myself to do it at the moment. Um, it's, I mean, it's very satisfying, but it takes a long time. So, uh, so the, the engine's out of the out of the shell and it's on the uh, on the stand at the moment. Uh, look forward to finishing that off, and then over here, uh, this, believe it or not, is a 1965 Pontiac GTO. Uh, I've just just stripped it down i've got to take all the running gear off gotta uh, take the engine out all of that kind of business but i'm not going to be able to do that until i've freed up the engine mount and you know details uh, i don't like to just work on one car at a time i like to work on many cars at a time and finish none of them anyway in the spirit of taking on many cars at a time and finishing none of them today we're going to go out to a barn and see what we can rustle up Right, as soon as I turn my head here, we're going to find out what we've won. So let's go through this junk pile first. Uh, what do we got here? A Dodge Monaco rear right door. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that. Uh, 32 right fender. Nice. Um, a Hellcat steering wheel. An intercooler set. That's that's worth having. And uh, a Land Rover rear window. Okay. All right. Yep. Good. All right. Next. Come on, what else have you got for... Oh, well, let's see what... Ooh, okay, hello. This is... This is more like it. Flipping Challenger RT. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. All oh, right, let's, uh, let's see what sort of condition it's in. Um, I mean, there's... There, it's a horror story. I mean, obviously, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be in need of a full do-over. Oh, flipping it. This is another one that we want to keep. Oh, I've got to... I've got to actually sell some cars occasionally. It's no, no use actually just keeping everything. Anyway, I don't even know why I'm looking. Yeah, I'll buy it, please. Um, how much do you want? 26 grand. All right, that's fine. Um, yeah, it's a good one. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's what she's supposed to look like, but doesn't at the moment. Uh, nope, I'll take it. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'll stick that one in the parking please yeah put that in the parking right let's clean out the rest of this lot let's uh, see what we've got here because uh, obviously once i've uh, once i've been through this place we never get it back again you know, just some random rim <laughs> Vauxhall corso rear window yeah i'm insane man yeah yeah another another bit of dodge monaco in fact it's another rear right door okay well yeah you know i mean if you if you're gonna have one uh, rear door on the right hand side why not have many that's what i've always said uh right have we got anything hiding behind here you don't want to be thorough because uh, otherwise you miss out on good stuff and my m3 boring uh fuel rail cover yeah bolt chapman that's that's one i'm not familiar with an m5 just finished doing an m5 it was okay it's i it, they leave me a little bit cold i'll be honest uh, your BMWs. I mean, perfectly fine cars, but uh, they're, you know, they don't excite me. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's all good. Right, what else have we got here? Uh, you got anything around the back here? Maybe hidden behind those rakes? No? No. Okay, there you go. There's another one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's some of it. An air filter base. Very useful. Uh, a Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8 rear right door. Well, I, I truly am the door master. At the current time, us. Ah, uh, that's a ruddy delight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anything else here? A Bentley. Ooh, a Bentley hood. A uh, Delray custom fender. Yeah, yeah. And a case. Oh, good. Always like to get a case. And, because, uh, you know, that's where, the, that's where the fun stuff is. Right. Have I done this one? Yeah, you've done that one. Okay. Done that one. Done this one. I think we might be there. Done that, and this, and that. Anything in the roof? Just, I, I mean, other than a lot of glare. Nope, I think we're good here. Here we are in my parking place. Uh, I've got uh, I've got another two cars here at the moment that are waiting for my attention. We've got a Lotus Elise, which is missing a fair chunk, but uh, that's another barn job, that one. 
Yeah, well, it's, uh, you know, that'll be, that'll be fun. I mean, you know, quite a lot of it's in decent condition. Uh, and then a bug, obviously, because uh, there you are. See, look, yes, it's got it's got the motor in there. It's got uh, got everything you could possibly want. Lovely. Apart from the spare tire, should be a spare tire in there. But you know, let's not get uh, hung up on that. I mean, it needs a needs a paint job, obviously, but uh, it's all good. And actually, this this challenge is in better condition than either of those. Or at least superficially it's in better condition. Anyway, let's uh, sling it on over the garage. I don't know why I sent it here first, uh, but I, I prefer to, uh, to you know, see it in the garage as the as the first stop. Yeah, I and mean, there's nothing there's nothing too horrific about it. Car status, yeah, move it over the garage. Apparently it's worth 30 grand, so I could flog it right now and uh, make myself 6k profit. Not going to do that, though, obviously. First job, strip it. Yeah, no two ways about it. Take it all off. Take everything off here. Uh, we'll we'll put them all together eventually. And obviously, I need to uh, I need to fix up all those parts that I also liberated from that uh, that barn. Uh, but that's uh, that's fine. We'll we'll get to that. No, 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 no. Take take the body work off. There we are. All right. Yeah. Take out these quarter lights. Yes. All right. Yeah. Good. Yeah. No, as it is, I mean, this is the this is the fun bit because you you get to see you know where all of the horrendous damage exists, other than you know everywhere. Uh, I don't think I can get at that yet. No, no, no. Right, here we are. I mean, it doesn't really matter what order you do it in at this point. Just just strip it all out. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have a sit in. Hoo hoo! Yeah, yeah, I like it. Uh, does it run? I'm going to take that as a no. Okay, it's a non-runner. Um, okay, fine. That's uh, you know I can do that. I'm, I just had to mental, mentally check there that I hadn't just taken out the uh, uh, the fuel tank or something particularly daft. Uh, right. So if we go to interior disassemble, we'll take you out. Interior disassemble is a uh, is a fussy beast. If you hover over the wrong thing, it won't let you disassemble it. Right. Okay. That's that sorted. Yes. Anything else? Got all the glass. Yeah. Oh no, didn't get the windscreen. Yeah, windscreen, even. All right, smashing. I'd probably take the aerial out as well, to be honest. You know, but I don't think we need it. But uh, doesn't seem to be going anywhere. So we're just going to hope we don't bend it as we uh, uh, as we crack on to the next stage. Up you come. Right, let's uh, let's get these wheels off. Yeah. Now, my usual course of action here is to uh, uh, strip as much as I can off the uh, off the running gear and the frame, uh, leave the engine in, and get to work on the engine as the last bit. That's the uh, that's the traditional course of action. Uh, but uh, we'll see how we go. Take all of this off. I mean, all of this is absolutely. I mean, it's wrecked. Uh, I might be able to fix some of it. My my fixing skills are pretty good. I'm level 43, uh, for those of you who care about such things. And, uh, you know, that means that I, I'm, I'm not completely incapable. I'm just mostly incapable. I, I, you know, I've got, I've, I've got everything unlocked that you want to unlock. And that's good, because it means that I can actually just, you know, tinker around with a car once in a while. And it's an entirely therapeutic experience because you never know what you're going to be tinkering around with next. Uh, why are you letting me have you? What have I forgotten to take? Oh, I've been... Oh, yeah, I've got to get underneath it now. Okay, all right, well, that's fine. Yeah, well, well I'll be doing that in a moment. Um, don't you don't you sweat about it. Let's get over here. Uh, oh, you, right, no, take the battery out. That's it. And then radiator. I've got to get into the engine bay to take the radiator out. I would have thought we'd be okay from this angle, to be honest, but, you know, you do you, baby. Um, all right, yeah, wheels off. There we are. I'll tell you something else. This goes a heck of a lot faster than it used to do. Uh, no, whoop, whoop, just just, just uh, gently does it. Uh, no, no, I tell you, you spend more time fighting the camera doing this stuff than you do anything else. There you go. This is, in fact, the exact same running gear. As I've just taken, well, just uh, just put together on me uh, on me Roadrunner, uh, but uh, blah, you know that's uh, that's all part and parcel of uh, uh, of your classic 
uh, Detroit Muscle. They all use exactly the same flipping stuff. Uh, right, yeah, get that off. Yeah, get this off. Uh, hold on, we don't think we can get to that until we're taking that. We might have to take the bearing out first. There you go. Right, yeah, now you can take the hub off. There you are. Right, happy yet? No, keep going. And then, then we're flummoxed until we can get underneath. Is there anything else I could, I could take the tie rods off? Okay. Right, all right, okay, good. Right, next, uh, up to the next level then, I suppose. Are you gonna do the back? Oh, flipping heck. So it's, it's never ending. Uh, right, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, at this stage, while well, I'm just kind of going, yeah, 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 take all, of, take all of this gubbins off here. Take the, take the brake drum off and then the shoe, and then you can get the axle. Uh, yeah, I'm already starting to think, what sort of color would this suit? Uh, I don't think I'm going to bother... All right, apparently I'm over here now. Um, uh, I don't think I'm going to bother uh, tuning this one too heavily. This is not worth uh, investing too much time in. I like a Challenger just fine. Uh, I, you know, uh, Vanishing Point spoke to me on many levels, as it did to many people. But uh, no, I think, uh, I think we'll keep this one relatively simple. We'll patch it up and then flog it. Now get the leaf spring plate. Oh no, we've got to go up to the next tier. All right, fine. I don't know why I don't just start there, to be honest. There's nothing I can't do at the next tier that I can't do on this one. No, just get the wheel. Thank you. Yeah, 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 that's all good. Right then, up we go. Now then, uh, now we can now we can get the rest of the running gear off. Uh, I, I, I mean, I prefer to uh, to start stripping the uh, accessible from the rain, uh, the engine bay. I was just in the flipping engine bay, you fuss pot. Um, okay, no, that's fine. Cal cal no, calm it down, concentrate, back it up. There you go. Right, we'll have the steering. No, we won't have the steering rack. We will. There you go. Because obviously, the more stuff you take out, the easier it is to see what the heck's going on. Uh, yeah, take the shocks out. Yeah. Okay. Keep backing it up. They'll take the bottom suspension arm. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Now, what I'd love to see, just as a total aside, is uh, is a combination of uh, of car mechanic uh, sim and uh, uh, and house flipper. So that you actually have a little bit more control over your, over the layout of your uh, of your workshop. I mean, they're they're both playways, so you know it's it's not like you know kind of go like, oh no, we would never share this technology. What are you talking about? It's all built on exactly the same technology. You bunch of ruddy jokers, and yet I find it I find this very satisfying to tinker around with. Uh, just just very. Oh uh, yeah, grab whatever you can get. We can start just ripping stuff out now. It's all got to be fixed. I mean, the whole thing's a total shambles at this point. Um, yeah, but it's like, you know, my flooring's fine. I went with this wood panelling effect because I thought it said artisan. Uh, you know, it really really said that I was a, a master craftsman of some description. And that means I could charge double. Hold on, wait, where are we going? And then, you know, we left some bits over the other side. I should be able to get this cross member once I've got all of the bits off it. Uh, there you go. Yeah, rubber bushings. You can never have too many, and I think I've I've only got about fifteen left in stock. You go through them like a a lot. Really, you go through them like a lot. Gracious, oh, that's a that's a that's an exciting thing to say. Uh, right, yeah, grab this. But it's like you know, I mean, I I take a certain amount of pride in the uh, in the cleanliness of my work environment, which is why I don't have stains all over the floor and rubbish lying around. Um, no, but uh, no, apparently you're not allowed to do that. No, you've you've got to. Uh, uh, can we get the uh, clutch off here as well? There you are. Uh, press, did press? Yes. Thank you. Um, yeah. So you know, being able to lay the whole thing out yourself would be nice. You know, starting. With a with an empty room, and then you move to a bigger room. There's there's a whole bunch more gameplay in there, and it doesn't need to be. Uh, no, it's not even gameplay. I wouldn't even call it gameplay. Stop calling it gameplay. It's not gameplay. What is it then? It's just options. It's it, ways in which you can personalise your experience. And you know, once you get to a certain level in this, everything becomes about personalised experience. Sure, I can. No, you've got to take the U bolts off first. Okay, fine. I've got spares of these. Because uh, 
You need four of them on a, on a wishbone suspension setup. Um, and uh, inevitably, one of the ones you take off is going to be beyond repair. So uh, you're gonna, yeah, you're always gonna go right. Fit it back on, and you kind of go, no, you need one more of those. And you go, oh, flipping, just would you? Uh, yeah, that's it. That's the that's the bitter hand of experience there, speaking bitterly, in that with its hand of experience, or some such. Right. Okay. Come on. Keep coming. Oh right, yeah. See, look. After we've done this, we've got an exciting journey to the uh, to the workbench and uh, to set your expectations accordingly. Um, that starts off being like tap. Oh, good. Tap. Oh, good. Tap. Yep. That's that's gone well. Tap. Yeah. All right. Stuff it. Tap. 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 tap until you're done. Uh, that's that's the way to do it. And you, you don't even go like right. What worked? What didn't? You just wait until you're putting it all back on again, and then you go ah. Okay. Right. Let's. I, I'm not sure this this oil pan has got anything in it, but we ought to drain it properly anyway. Otherwise, I'll, I'll have a spillage. Uh, right. Come here move you over to left to B right and then uh, yeah I want to uh, activate yeah no yeah no do you want me to uh, hang on wait 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 no wait no no I just wanted to I just wanted the drain cap if I'm honest but all right I pushed the use equipment button you saw me do it it didn't do anything and therefore if this is full of oil, which it isn't, that's good. All right, thank you. Yeah, just get off. There we are. You go away again. Yeah, place it back. There was no oil in the oil pan. This possibly explains why it was reluctant to uh, to move in any way at all. Have we got everything off here yet? Uh, yes. Yeah, that's that's all of it. Yeah, it's. I mean, the uh, the engine is obviously mounted to the frame, which is it, which is why it's not just falling out there. Uh, but even so, it's, it, it is it is generally advisable to take the engine out. All right, I think it's generally advisable. I'm not a mechanic. Uh, this is as close to being a mechanic as I uh, as I get, and it's quite near enough. Because uh, if I screw up in this, I lose points. If I screw up in the world on a real car, the car's broken, and I've got to go and pay someone to fix it, uh, or you know, or make it worse. Or I, I think I fixed it. I take it out for a spin, and I crash and die. And that's that's basically the difference. Uh, grab the brake servo. Anything else? No. Leave the uh, leave the lump alone. Do you want to get the lump out? Not really. No, it's a lot of it's a lot of hassle putting a lump, taking a lump apart and putting it back together. And you can just tell by looking at it that I am going to have to strip it right down and fiddle with everything and then put it back together again if I want 100% this car, which obviously I do want 100% the car. Still, it looks rather different to the way it did a moment ago. Uh, let's whip on over to the workbench. Right, what have we got? Fuel pump. So you go tap, and you go yeah, almost fixed it. Go again then. That one's fixed. And we're also fixing up all of the parts that I got out of the barn. Bottom suspension arm. Yeah, yeah. And then you start doing this. You just kind of go, come on, do them all. Get on. Yep, that's it. Yep, good, good, good. Some of these will break. Some of them will not. Uh, we won't know exactly what's what until we have a look at the inventory in a minute. Yeah, yeah. We're nearly there, yeah? No. Nope. All right, keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Excellent. Uh, right. Inventory. Let's have a go. Yeah. All right. What have we got? So I've got all of these. All of these lot that are uh, well. I could. I could take them apart and have a go. I suppose. I don't think you can. You know what? Just sell it. Yeah. We'll buy some more. Uh, the rims we could probably fix up though. So that's something. Uh, lots of barn locations. That's nice. Uh, sort by, not arrival, sort by condition, please. Right, chuck out the rubbish. Yeah, yeah. Uh, by rubbish, I mean anything with a quality less than 100%. Because <laughs> cause I, I, that's how we roll. I'm not fixing someone else's car here. I'm putting together my own masterworks. And therefore, uh, it's important to uh, to take some pride in what you're putting together. Oh, oh dumping the chairs. All right, okay. You might be able to fix those with the interior kit. Ah, oh, whatever. 
Okay, yeah. How much have we got to get rid of? You know, you could just hit sell parts and tell it to sell everything with less than 100%. Uh, no, no, it's uh, below or equal to 99%. I've done that before. You set it to 100% thinking it's everything lower than 100%. And what happens? You just sold everything. Go. There we are. Right, lots of barns. These all need taken apart. Right, we'll do that next. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, good. Right. It's not about the money. It's about keeping your uh, to keep your inventory nice and clean. Uh, right, tire changer. What have we got here? Rim Retro One. I think we might actually we might actually change these up, but uh, but we'll see how it goes. I'm not sure this is the rim for me. No, I don't care. No, no, I, I actually don't care. No, no we'll just fix these up if we can. We'll get replacements if uh, for those that I can't fix. We'll put some new rubber on it, and that'll do nicely. I'm not going to think too much about a, a sell it on car. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's, that's the way we're going to roll. Yeah, okay. Well, let's roll that way then. We are doing. That's, I already said, I advertised. That was the way we were rolling. Good. All right. Yep. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. One more. Yep. Go on. Now, I, I like doing tires. I don't mind it at all because while it's doing that, if you're putting them together again, you get one and you put it together again, and then you stick it on the balancer, and then you get the next one going as well. It feels quite efficient. Just sat there looking at it while it gradually twirls around. It feels less efficient somehow. Right. Will you fix? Well, I don't know. Let's have a look. How do we, how do, we do there? Uh, right, we've got to take that suspension apart. The tyres have all had it. So uh, let's get rid of them. I can't do anything about that. Uh, take this a double wish shock absorber apart. Not that, it, not that I expect it to actually accomplish anything. All uh, right, yep, go on. Go on, flex. This is the worst one, though. The flipping shock absorber doodad. Now you just got to sit here and wait for 10 seconds while it does it. Well, okay, it's about three seconds. Uh, while it while it does its thing. And you just kind of go, come on. No, I can't do anything with those. All right, fine. Next up, welding rig. Welding rig. Welding rig. Welding rig. I can't remember where it is. I don't use it often enough. You use it once at the start of the, uh, of the get up. Uh, move you to bay two, please. All right. Okay. Yeah, you use it once at the start of the uh, at the start of the gig, and you do this. Do you want to fix it? Yeah, fixed it. Good. Put it away again. And that's why I can never remember where it lives. Uh, right. Okay. So that's the frame. Ah, it's the frame all fixed up. And uh, we've got most of the uh, most of the odds and ends out of there. Let's have a have a quick look at the car status. The interior condition's only sixty percent. Well, we'll deal with that, don't you? Don't you worry. And then you've got the... Uh, uh, yeah, you've got the engine to deal with. <laughs> yeah, that's we're now worth 11 grand. And obviously, there isn't... I, I mean, there's not a lot of car in there now. Uh, you, you, I mean, you've got the bit that makes it go. And you've got somewhere to refer to as inside. But beyond that, not a lot. Uh, should we clean up the interior now? Yeah, all right. Go on. Feels, feels excessive at this stage where you've still got to put seats in. Yeah, but I'm buying new seats, haven't I? Yeah. Go on. Yep. There we go. Right. You. Go away again. Yep. Back home. Right. Now, up to 100% interior. Mmm. And that just added two grand to the value of the car for a hundred quid spruce up. Ha 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 ha. Suckers. Uh, yeah. Good. Right. Okay. And what now? Well, now, typically, we, uh, we go spray it a different colour. Now, this, this makes no sense. Makes no sense to spray it a different colour at this point because I'm just going to have to spray it a different colour when I'm done as well, when I've, got, when I've got the body panels back on. But I like doing it now to get a feel for the car that I'm ending up with, which is why uh, the Roadrunner there is already in um, uh, Scowling Frank Fiasco Purple. That is purple. It's like a midnight purple kind of an effect. It's true. There definitely is. Uh, move the car to the spray shop, please. Thank you. Wheels are missing. All right. Well, I guess that's not. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to put the flipping under under carriage back in. All right. We can put the under carriage back in. Up, please. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Assembly mode. Yeah. No. Not assembly mode. 
No, can no, cancel that, cancel that, cancel that. Stop doing that. Say suspension. There you are, and then go mount. That's, that's the trick. Now then, this is the biggie. Yep, we're in. Okay. Springs. Looks like we might have actually got two there. No. As ever, one of them's busted. You can't you can't get away with both of them being fixed, obviously. No, it's gonna go like no. One of them you broke it, and you're gonna go, oh Louie. Still. That's that's okay. We'll do one side then t'other. Alright, yeah, that's good. Yeah, go on, wang it on. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna be at this for a bit. So I'll put the uh, I'll put the undercarriage back together again and then you can uh, you can rejoin me when we head to the paint shop. Alright, so I've got me uh, I've got me new rubber ordered for the wheels, but before we uh, before we apply the tire to the wheel, we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll respray them because uh, otherwise otherwise you you, you end up stock. Uh, so it's these rim retros here. Yeah. Right now then, which order do you want to do these in? Uh, we'll start back here. All right, okay. What color are we going to go for here? Well, I know it's quite straightforward. We're going to go with chrome. Uh, there you are. That's, uh, that's that should have it. That should that should. Oh. Give me a give me a free crack cam. That's just white. That's not chrome. Oh yeah, you have to go for chrome. Oh yeah, dope. There you are. Chromey wheel. Have one. Nice. Uh, now I've got big fat rubber on the uh, on the back and slightly slightly not quite as fat rubber on the front, which should give it quite an imposing kind of uh, stance, uh, which is which is what you want. Number two, yeah, there we go. Uh, just give me uh, chrome it, chrome it. Thank you. Make the chrome nice and I'll tell you what that dark chrome that looks pretty handy. But uh, no, I want to. I'm going for a, going for kind of a classic. A classic look, uh, you know, the obvious resto look is what we're going for here, because you know that's what sells. Actually, it doesn't make any difference at all, but you know, I like to think that it makes a difference, and that but that way it makes a difference to me, which is nice. Uh, let's try it going the other way. Yeah, you see, it's faster going the other way. Yeah, but it's unnatural. Shouldn't uh, should never should never head in that direction. You should always always head the other way. All right, one more. Yeah, there you are. All right, scroll it along. I've got quite a lot of parts at the moment, uh, but that's okay. This that's not going to last. I've got I've got to finish some cars. That's all. I've just got to take some apart and uh, and then you know put them back together again. My Roadrunner's almost done. I don't know if I'll sell it when I'm done with it. Uh, I'll probably just take it out for a bit of a jaunt. Uh, but you know that's that's okay. Right, that's them done. Oh no. Always leave the door open. It lets the uh, lets the fumes vent. You've gone the wrong way. Your your tire whatnot's over here. Yeah, all right. Uh, right, put them, put them together. No, 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 no. Right, so there you go, 15 inch. Uh, so we've got 245s, which is which is good and chunky. Uh, 245s, a nice, a nice patch is what you've got there. Lovely. Gone for the retro tire, uh, non-race version. Uh, yeah, unless you're actually racing, don't put race tires on. You just look a bit done. No, 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 no. You've gone the wrong way here. Try, try doing that correctly. All right, yeah, one of those, yeah. Very good. Right, and then while that's doing that, we do this. Yeah, this one. Get them balanced. There you go, so it does its thing. We grab this one and then put, see, see this is this is great. It feels like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm really making progress in, in life. And one eight fives on the front. Not quite as chunky, but still quite chunky. I could possibly even have gone a little bit slimmer than that. In fact, you know, 185s on the front, and then, I don't know, one 150s maybe on the, uh, no, no, 150s on the front, and then 185s on the back. That would be quite sensible. Hold on, you haven't finished yet. Yes, I have. I'm, I'm getting all confused because I'm trying talking as well as doing my useful things. Yeah, do it. Go. Right, you. No, wrong, wrong way. I know you're used to separating them and not... Not so used to putting it all back together again. Which is classic. Uh, but uh, no, do it properly. There you are. Good. Anyway, I've got the uh, got the rear running gear all done. Uh, haven't put the exhaust back in, but you can. I mean, that's fine. I can put that. I can stick that in when uh, uh, once I've got it back on the rubber. Uh, I at least want to get the colour on there. See, right? Have we got any more to do, or have I done it all? No, you've done it all. You sure? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely done it all. Alright, still got one more set to balance though, right? 
Probably. It does feel like I'm missing a set. It might feel that way, but I'm pretty sure you're not. Look, there's no more rims that haven't got rubber attached to them. Maybe you just need to balance a few more sets than you were anticipating. Um, yeah, see, talking, it's throwing you off your game. You, you talk about this being all efficient and so forth, but it's not true. You've got to, you know, keep your wits about you. Right, good, excellent. That's all of that sorted. Oh, I'm coming up on a level up. Oh, that'll be a delight. Well, I've got nothing to spend my level up points on anymore. That's that's all. That's all done. Yeah, you're you're a rear wheel. If ever I saw one, ah, look at that. Ooh, shiny. Now I don't go for chrome uh, on my uh, on my own projects. It's not really my jazz, but uh, but jam is what people tend to say. Well, in this case, it's not it's not my jazz either. Um, jam or jazz, it's neither of those things. No, we want the two, four, fives, please. There you go. Uh, but can't can't deny looks pretty good right there we are that's the rear end done yeah 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 oh ooh, beefy yeah i know get the exhaust on yeah yeah i will do uh but i've got to put the front together first so that i can uh, i can go spray this up we'll take it as far as spraying it up today and then we'll see if uh if anybody's interested in watching another episode because uh well i mean here's the thing where where are we now 20 minutes 30 minutes in easily right pretty much pretty certain that the only people knocking around at this point are the ones that are kind of go like oh whatever mate you can you can just record whatever you please and i'm 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 quite happy to watch it uh just play what makes you happy and they kind of go yeah that, that fine uh steering rack busted as well okay uh yeah, what else have we got we could try putting a putting a full knuckle together you've only got one on yeah it's typical all right, okay, what about wishbones? Did any of those make it? Yes. Right, good. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, the people who are still watching are the ones who kind of go like, yeah, who are who will either go, no, I am genuinely fascinated by this, this looks great, keep playing this, I like it a lot. Um, or those who just kind of go, I just have you on in the background, and as long as you're happy making some noise there, uh, that works for me. Just fine. You you carry on, mate. Just you crack on. Uh, yeah. Now, normally, and if I were doing this on a real car, not that I would, you know, because I'm not an, I'm not a mechanic. I lost all my. Um, I would uh, I would do it symmetrically, for fear of uh, of missing a bit. Yeah. Right. Need a sway bar. B. Need a steering rack. All right. We can make that happen. Uh, you need a load of other stuff as well, but that'll do for now. Get out of the tire shop. Uh, what did we say? Sway B. Uh, front, sway, bar B. Yep. And uh, steering. Steering. Uh, rack. There you go. 800 quid. Uh, that was an expensive one to blow, that one. Okay, well, never mind. It all pays for itself. It's it. We'll, we'll make the money back. It's fine. Yeah. Right, crack on. Right, that's everything underneath remounted, and actually, I quite like the ratio, the the tire ratios that we've got going on there. That looks pretty good. Uh, obviously, we're only on little rims, so uh, I mean, well, 15s. Um, so you know, a slightly larger rim would work, but it came with 15s, and it looked perfectly acceptable. So, uh, so there's that. Right now, last job for today is uh, let's wang it in the spray shop, and uh, and see what we can get out of that. Uh, I don't know what colour to do it. I think I might I might just go with Fiasco Purple because uh, it is a good look. And uh, and that way it also gives me a, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of a statement. And Scowling Frank hates it when you don't paint it purple, apparently. Uh, right, in we go. Yep. Now, I mean, this is entirely the wrong order to do it. I said, not really. So I'm saying it again. But I like to I like to get a feel for, for what I'm what I'm working with. Uh, before I finished, uh, where are we on the map? 270-ish, I reckon. You reckon? Yeah, probably about 270-ish. And then we gradually decrease the... Yes. See? See? What's what's not to like? Uh, give me another camera angle. That's not a good one. Nor that one. Nor this one. Something roofed down would be good. Okay, back to where we were before. I like it. <laughs> Well, obviously you do. You've used it before. Yeah, I know. That's why. That's why I've used it. We'll stick with metallic. 
Um, you know, on my own cars, I prefer matte, but metallic will do us just fine. I might even do the bonnet a different colour. The hood, though, for those of you who don't speak English. Uh, right, here we are. Uh, yeah, no, that's, that's, that's coming along very nicely indeed. Uh, right, stick it back on the lifter, and uh, and then it's, it's ready for its next adventure, which is uh, putting the motor back together. All right, well, I mean, first thing to do is take the motor out. Anyway, we'll get to that next time. Look at this, two, two beautiful cars sat right next to each other, neither one of them finished. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, tune in next time for further adventures, if there is a next time. Let me know in the comments if you want to see me finish this one off. And I'll tell you what, if I finish this one off, I'll do the Roadrunner at the same time. I uh, so you can't, can't say fairer than that. Alright, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll be back soon. Thanks for watching. Cheerio! Uh, so, you, your car mechanic simulator is something that I tend to dabble in. Uh, when I've just got, you know, got half an hour to spare, I'll, uh, I'll go and poke about a car a bit, which is why I end up with a lot of cars that I haven't started or finished. Uh, or, you know, or they're midway through, or whatever it is. Um, and that's all good, that's, that's great. But, uh, no, uh, so uh, if you want to see another one of these, bang a comment to that extent down in the comments there, and, uh, and we'll get to it, and I'll, uh, I'll turn around the Roadrunner and the, uh, and the Challenger at the same time. And then maybe I'll do a little bit of work on my GTO, but I haven't decided yet. Well, we'll, we'll see. It's really up to you. But I could quite easily make this a regular occurrence, if you like. So we'll, we'll see how it does. There you go. Can't say fairer than that. Uh, a little bit of democracy in action, which I may, as dictator-in-chief, uh, completely ignore. But we'll, we'll see how it goes. Right. Off your trot.